look at all this, more vitamins and minerals, more medicines, a better fatty acid profile, more fiber, less sugar. And not only that, but by foraging for food and eating species in our backyard in the woods, we are ensuring that we are eating a very diverse diet. And if you look at healthy cultures around the world, they are eating many, 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 many different species every year. 100, 150, 200 different species. Most people in America, corn, wheat, soy. That's pretty much it. A couple of vegetables on the side, but corn, wheat, and soy. Or at least some rearrangement of corn, wheat, and soy. And so a lot of people don't talk about this. A lot of nutritionists don't talk about this. But a very, very diverse diet, eating an extra 10 species per year, 20 species, maybe even 30, I think we would see dramatic health benefits and shifts in our health by including more species into our diets. And one easy way to do that is by eating wild fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, all those kinds of things. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking right now. Sounds great, Adam. Sounds great on paper. But how do you expect me to become a full-time hunter-gatherer? Is anybody sold on it now? Is anybody going to go out with a one pop running around, bow and arrow here in Peter's Township? You're going to do it. What's your name? Lynn's going to do it. All right. <laughs> but there's a spectrum out there. It's not yes or no. It's not like I'm going to become a full-time hunter-gatherer or it's nothing. I just give up completely. No, there's a spectrum. And so on this side of the spectrum, we have the worst diet you could ever imagine, the SAD diet. Anybody know what the SAD diet is? The standard American diet. SAD diet. Way here on the other end of the spectrum is living off the land, which would include wild foods. It doesn't have to be all wild foods. It could be growing your foods, too, but supplementing with wild foods. And there's a spectrum here. You know where you are on the spectrum. And I would encourage you to look this way, in this direction, from my experiences, from the experiences of countless others, from observations around the world, from research even, the rewards are so much sweeter if you just take steps in this direction. And it could be as simple as just one little shift every month. But imagine, at the end of the year, you have 12 shifts in your life. Then the next year, it could be twice a month, something like that. One dandelion green per month. We can all do it. I know we can do it. But we're going to talk about some examples today of what we can eat, what we can find here in Southwest Pennsylvania.